Welcome to Grillin' and Chillin' with Mojo. I am going to attempt, it's a super easy, it has like basically four ingredients, five ingredients, but we're gonna make a Filipino spaghetti. Yep, I said Filipino spaghetti. I spoke to, oh, I don't know, I have a bunch of Filipino friends, and I'm like, Filipino spaghetti, you know, they wanted me to try it, and I tried it, and I'm like, holy moly, this is actually pretty good. Two different types of sauces. I'm gonna use one sauce when I'll go over on my groceries, but uh, you can buy a big bag of Filipino spaghetti sauce, or I'll just go ahead and say it, banana sauce. I'm using banana sauce, and I got a little squirrel down here. I'm being totally distracted. I was feeding them, <laughs> can I help you? I put a whole bunch of, bunch over there. Go get them over there. You know, come on. <laughs> but um, sorry about that. Oh, well, I got the squirrels out. So, if you're new to the channel, do me a huge favor, hit that uh, subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, and please leave a comment, you guys, anybody, and tell me what you think. If there's something else you would like me to make, um, I'm kind of off the wall all over the place, but uh, that's just because I was born ADD or, or whatever you want to call it. But um, baby squirrel, <laughs> this baby squirrel, if you check on one of my uh, short videos, that baby squirrel hung out in the little nut box there for about three hours and going, these are my nuts. Pretty funny. So go check out that little like short video I have. But let's get back to what we're supposed to be doing here. And uh, yeah, so just leave a comment. I love the comments. Um, and then, like I said, let's go ahead, go over our groceries. All right, so let's go ahead and go over our uh, ingredients here. We have these Martin Pure Foods, the better choice hot dogs, naturally smoked, fully cooked, artificially colored. Okay, we have some ground sausage. Um, of course, we have some spaghetti, so uh, spaghettis. And I just went with the regular spaghetti noodles and the special sauce right here, yo. We got the banana sauce, and it's uh, pretty interesting. I've never had it. Looks like ketchup, but it's not ketchup. And we just got some shredded Parmesan, throw up on top of it, and make it a little bit melty and delicious. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, slap the sausage and these dogs on the grill and get her going. All right, the first thing you want to do, get this water boiling up for this pasta. Put a little bit of salt in there. Okay, this water is about boiling. I kind of want to wait till it boils, but uh, it's no big deal. And we're going to go and uh, let that cook for about probably 12 minutes. I want to spend the night at hers and bring her one of my t shirts so it smells like her perfume. Now I really get All right, so what we want to do is we'll just get ahead and get this sausage going and uh, a couple of these dogs. We're going to cut up these dogs. Have you ever been in love? Have you ever lost your head? Have you felt like you were and, out uh, of breath? And let's when you saw do three of them. Dress. When your heart is beating fast and you're sweating and you can't stop looking at her smile, then you've been in love. The sausage That's how going. you know you've been in love. There's something about the way she laughs and the way she always dances. All right, let's cut up these dogs. First time using this knife. Pretty excited. Probably don't need this much hot dogs, but that's okay. There we go. Go ahead and get these dogs on the grill. Have you ever lost your head? Grilled up. Like you were out of breath when you saw her in the dress. When you 
Let's go ahead and get these uh, dogs going on the grill. These are pre-cooked, so I'm just getting them a little crispy. Alright, so what I want to add here is some of this Galeano's Texas barbecue. It's a uh, Texas beef hog. Um, amazing stuff here. Add a little bit of that for some flavor. Now they didn't tell me to do this part, but that's okay. Have you ever been in love? Have you ever lost your head? Have you felt like you were out of love? When you saw Okay, so this has been about 10 minutes. Probably 11 minutes. Pasta is complete. Pasta is done. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take some pasta. Do this real quick. Let it drain out a little bit. Put in the pan. Go ahead and put some of these uh, hot dogs in there. I'm guessing about, shoot, almost all of them. Some sausage, pretty much all of it. I'm dump it all in there. And let's go ahead and get some of this banana sauce. And I'm not sure how much I'm putting in here because I've never made this. And I asked, I'm like, well, how much do you put in? They're like, well, whatever you want to put in, how much, whatever you want. So we're going to go about right there. And that's about a half a cup right there. Give that a stir. Let's see if I want to put more in. Now, I've come across a lot of different recipes on this, but I truly uh, I had a Filipino friend that asked me to make this, and I'm like, dude, that sounds absolutely amazing. And um, I'm, gonna, I'm not putting any more sauce in, I think that's plenty. And, uh, and he told me just straight up, just he didn't say put sausage in it. But he just said, you know, the hot dogs and what kind of hot dogs and the sauce. And that was it. Well, a lot of recipes came up with a lot of different types of stuff. And I asked a gal at work and she's like, yeah, put up some ground, some ground sausage in there just a little bit like I did. And uh, should be delicious. And there we go. Let's go ahead and plate this and, and uh, give this a try, you guys. Take a look at this. Holy smokes. It looks delicious. Um, never tasted any of the ingredients except for uh, the pasta. But uh, let's go ahead and uh, give this a try, huh? Cheesy. A little Parmesan. All right. Get, a, get some sausage in there. Some of that cheese in there. Those hot dogs. 
Now these hot dogs, I thought there was only one style, but uh, I wanted to get the cheese one, the ones with the cheese in them. But these didn't have the cheese in it. And I didn't realize that until I got home. But and there's not very many places around here I can get them. But uh, cheers. Let's try this. And uh, that sauce, that sauce is really, really good. Um, depending on how you like your sauce, and you like it really saucy, put more of the sauce in, the banana sauce, or less. It all depends on what you like. Take another bite. This is actually really, really good. Wow. What I recommend We're so used to throwing peppers and different things in there, onions and all kinds of stuff in our sauces and our homemade sauce or canned sauce or whatever sauce. I recommend trying this. Totally different. Um, they do have a Filipino bag of pizza sauce that is really, really good. Um, this isn't that bad. It's really, really good. It's just different, right? And different is good. So um, one more bite. And I hope everybody is having a fabulous day. Do me a humongous favor. Hit that thumbs up or thumbs down, whatever you choose to do. Um, leave a comment. And as always, hit that subscribe button, you know, if you like my content. And... Um, Cheers. Mm. That's good. So good. And I will see you on the next cook.